Paul Pazulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 10th question from the Linear Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1, Reading and Writing. Number 10 reads, the following text is debit from Edith Nesbitt's 1906 novel, The Railway Children. Mother did not spend all her time in paying dull visits to dull ladies and sitting dully at home waiting for dull ladies to pay visits to her. She was almost always there ready to play with the children and read to them and help them do their home lessons. Besides this, she used to write stories for them while they were at school and read them aloud after tea, and she always made up funny pieces of poetry for their birthdays and for other great occasions. According to the text, what is true about mother? One thing you got to keep in mind, I looked at these answer choices before, and what I found is that Sometimes people project their own feelings onto the story. You have to answer according to what it's saying. Um, you got to take it very literally. Don't read into it. Answer choice A, she wishes more ladies would visit her. Well, she calls those ladies uh, dull. So it's implied that she wouldn't want dull visits from dull ladies, but maybe you'd be like, hey, if no one visits her, she'd be lonely. So she probably wishes more people. It's not what it says. Calls them dull. Um, she doesn't care for that. See, that's what's at least implied there. Answer is B. Birthdays are her favorite special occasion. Once again, you might be like, oh, birthdays sound so great. Um, she always made funny, up funny pieces of poetry for their birthdays. But it does not say that birthdays were her favorite occasion. Maybe there's other holidays. She does other stuff that's even more fantastic and she enjoys even more. Answer choice C. She creates stories and poems for her children. So notice here it mentions children. And that is what we would call the antecedent of the pronoun. When it says she used to write stories for them, she used to write stories for the children. So answer choice C, she created stories for her children. That looks good. And the part I underlined before, she always made up funny pieces of poetry for their birthdays. So she must have also created poems. Answer choice C looks like it's our correct answer. Check out D, reading to her children is her favorite activity. Maybe she likes tennis more. Who knows? She might like something else. It does literally does not say that reading to her children are her favorite activity. Again, don't project your feelings onto the story. C is your correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with reading comprehension questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.